Hello students, welcome to grade 12 chemistry revision lesson on factors affecting equilibrium positions. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to list factors that affect chemical equilibrium, state literature's principle, and define optimum conditions. Students, if you are ready, then we will get started. Factors affecting equilibrium constants. As we said, for reactions of the type AM, A, A plus BB to form C, C plus DD, the equilibrium constant K, the equilibrium constant K C equal concentration of C to the power of C times concentration of D raised to D divided by concentration of A to the power of A times concentration of B raised to B. Equilibrium constant is the ratio of concentration of the product to that of concentration of reactant raised to their respective coefficients. Now, what factors affect the equilibrium constant case? The equilibrium constant depends upon the following factors. One, temperature at which the experiment is performed. Therefore, equilibrium constant case of the reaction depends on the temperature at which the experiment takes place. Take this as an example. Production of ammonia by the Haber process. This reaction is exothermic. Delta H for this reaction, delta H is minus 92.2 kilo joule. You see? Production of ammonia from its elements, nitrogen and hydrogen by the Haber process. Look, temperature in Kelvin at 298 Kelvin. K is 6.8 times 10 to the power of 5. At 400 Kelvin is 41. At 500 Kelvin, Kelvin is 3.6 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Therefore, a reaction at equilibrium has only one equilibrium constant at a given temperature. Equilibrium constants Kc depend on temperature. The same is true for this reaction, sulfur dioxide plus O2 gas to form sulfur trioxide gas. At this temperature, 298 Kelvin, Kp is 4 times 10 raised to 24. At 500, Kp is 2.5 times 10 to the power of 10. Therefore, equilibrium constants, Kp or Kc, depend on temperature at which the reaction takes place. This N2O4 gas is in equilibrium with nitrogen dioxide gas. Again, at 298 Kelvin, the equilibrium constant Kp is 0 0.98. At 447.9, at 500 Kelvin, Kp for this reaction is 1,700. Therefore, Kp or Kc depend on temperature. Two, the form of equation which describe the equilibrium also affect the equilibrium constant. For example, the equilibrium constant of a reaction in the reverse direction is the reciprocal of the equilibrium constant of the forward reaction. If a given reaction at equilibrium is reversed, then the new equilibrium constant K prime C, K prime C equal 1 over original Kc. Take this reaction. Equilibrium reaction, hydrogen gas plus I2 gas in equilibrium is hydrogen iodide gas. For this reaction, the equilibrium constant Kc is X. 
when this reaction is reversed, it becomes two hydrogen iodide gas in equilibrium with H2 gas plus I2 gas. Now, the new equilibrium constant K prime C is one over original Kc. Therefore, if a given reaction at equilibrium is reversed, then the new equilibrium constant, the new equilibrium constant K prime C is one over original Kc. Hydrogen gas plus I2 gas in equilibrium is hydrogen iodide gas. Kc for this reaction is 54. Now revert this reaction. When the reaction is reversed, it becomes this. Two hydrogen iodide gas in equilibrium with hydrogen gas plus I2 gas. The new case, K prime C. K prime C equal 1 over original case, which is 54. 1 over 54 is 0 0.018. From this, we can observe that the form of equation which describe the equilibrium affect the equilibrium constant Kc. The equilibrium constant of a reaction that has been multiplied by a number is the equilibrium constant raised to a power that is equal to the number. If a given equilibrium reaction is multiplied by n, then the new equilibrium constant K prime C equal original equilibrium constant raised to the power n. You see? Let's take this as an example. Hydrogen gas plus I2 gas, 2HI gas. Original case, initial case is 54. Now this reaction is multiplied by 2. The new Kc, which is K prime C, equal original Kc to the power 2. K prime C equal original Kc to the power n equal the original Kc is 54. 54 raised to the reaction is multiplied by 2 equal 2916. Therefore, if a given equilibrium reaction is multiplied by n, the new equilibrium constant, which is k prime c, equal original kc to the power n. 3. The equilibrium constant for a net reaction, for a net reaction made up of two or more steps, is the product of the equilibrium constant for the individual steps. Look at this example. NOBr in equilibrium is NO plus Br2. K1 is 0 0.014. Br2 plus Cl2 in equilibrium is BrCl. K2 is 7.22. Now, these two reactions add up to give this overall reaction. If you add these two reactions, we get this overall reaction. Now, the overall K, which is K3, equal K1 times K2. Yes, Br2 will be cancelled by Br2. 2NOBr plus Cl2 in equilibrium is 2NO plus 2BrCl. The overall K3 equal K1 times K2. Equal K1 is 0 0.014 times K2 is 7.2, which is 0 0.10. Consider the following reaction at 1200 Kelvin. CO gas plus 3H2 gas in equilibrium with CH4 gas plus water gas. K prime C is 3.92. CH4 gas plus hydrogen sulfide gas in equilibrium is carbon disulfide gas plus hydrogen gas. K double prime C is 3.3 times 10 to the power of 4. Use the above reaction to determine the equilibrium constant Kc for the following reaction at 1200 Kelvin. Now this is overall reaction. These two reactions add up to give this overall reaction. Now, what is the overall K for this reaction? 
over all came. K over all came over all over all equal K prime C K prime C times K double prime C because these two reactions add up to give this overall reaction. You see? CH4 gas, this will be cancelled by this. Carbon monoxide gas, carbon monoxide gas plus hydrogen sulfide in equilibrium with water gas plus carbon disulfide gas plus 4H2 minus 3H2 gas is H2 gas. Now, K overall is K prime C times K double prime C, which is K prime C is 3.92 .9, times K double prime C is 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of 4. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of 4. This is the overall equilibrium constant for this overall reaction. Lee Chatrier's principle. Lee Chatrier's principle states that when a system at equilibrium is disturbed, then the system will shift its equilibrium position so as to counteract the effect of the disturbance. Now what are the disturbances according to Lee Chatrier principle? The disturbances are this change in concentration or pressure of reactants or products by the addition or removal. Take a general equilibrium reaction. This reaction AA plus B in equilibrium with CC plus DD. Adding or removing concentration of reactants or products disturb reactions at equilibrium. Therefore, one of disturbance is addition or removal of concentration of reactants or product. The other is increasing or decreasing pressure of the system. The other disturbance is heating or cooling the reaction mixture, increasing or decreasing temperature of the reaction. These are the disturbances. Therefore, when a reaction at equilibrium is disturbed, then the system will shift its equilibrium position so as to counteract the effect of this disturbance. Let us see the disturbances or the stresses one by one. Effect of change in concentration on equilibrium position. Take this reaction. This reaction is equilibrium reaction. What happened to the equilibrium position if concentration of a reactant or a product is increase or decrease? Here it says, if the concentration or pressure of a substance is increased by the addition of more reactants or products, one, the equilibrium position will shift in the direction that consumes the added substance. For example, N plus B in equilibrium with C plus D. If concentration of M, if concentration of M is increased, then equilibrium will shift in the direction that consumes concentration of M. On the other hand, if concentration of M is decreased, then equilibrium will shift in the direction that replenish the removed reactant, the removed substance. The equilibrium position will shift away from the increased concentration. For example, for the reaction at equilibrium, sodium bicarbonate in equilibrium with sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide gas. Delta H for this reaction is 128 kilojoule. The forward reaction is endothermic. 
Now, what happened to the equilibrium position if concentration of carbon dioxide or the product carbon dioxide is removed? As predicted by Lee Chatrier's principle, the equilibrium shift to the product side to replenish the removed carbon dioxide. Therefore, equilibrium shift, equilibrium, equilibrium shift to product side, to product side, or equilibrium shift to the right. Beam adding sodium bicarbonate. Now sodium bicarbonate is a solid. If extra sodium bicarbonate is added to this equilibrium mixture, concentration of this solid is constant. Therefore, the equilibrium position is unchanged. No effect on equilibrium position. No effect. No effect on equilibrium position. Equilibrium position. Because sodium bicarbonate is a solid, concentration of a solid is constant. Effect of changing pressure on equilibrium position. What happened to the equilibrium position if pressure of the system is increased? According to Lee Chatter's principle, if the pressure at equilibrium is increased, then the reaction will proceed in that direction where the pressure is reduced. Since the pressure depends upon the number of moles, because from the ideal gas equation, pressure times volume equal N times R times temperature, we have this pressure equal N divided by V times R times temperature, you see. Pressure and volume are inversely proportional. Pressure depend on number of moles. For example, in the formation of ammonia from its element nitrogen gas plus 3H2 gas to form 2NH3 gas, an increase in pressure, if pressure is increased, then equilibrium shift in the direction that reduce the pressure. Equilibrium shift in the side that have small number of moles of gases. You see, on this side we have one plus three, four moles, four moles of gases. On this side we have two mole of gas, two mole of gas. Therefore, when a pressure of this system increase equilibrium shift to the side which have a small number of moles of gases to the product side. If pressure of this system, if pressure of this reaction decrease, then equilibrium shift to the side which have large number of moles of gases to the reactant side. See? An increase in pressure at equilibrium will favor the formation of products, the formation of ammonia. Effect of changing temperature on equilibrium position and equilibrium constant casing of the reaction. The temperature dependence of the equilibrium position, equilibrium position, and the value of the equilibrium constant is dependent on the sign of delta H of the reaction. For example, take this reaction, formation of ammonia from its elements, nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas, 3H2 gas to form ammonia, 2NH3, 2NH3 gas. Delta H for this reaction is minus 92.2 kilojoule. The forward reaction is exothermic. The reverse reaction is endothermic. Now, if 
temperature of this equilibrium reaction increase, then equilibrium will shift to the direction that reduce the temperature to the endothermic side. Formation of reactants is favored if temperature is increased. If temperature decrease, equilibrium shift to exothermic side. Here it says the equilibrium constant for an exothermic reaction will decrease as temperature increases. Why? Because the equilibrium constant for this reaction, Kc for this reaction is concentration of ammonia, NH3 to the power 2 divided by concentration of nitrogen times concentration of hydrogen to the power 3. The equilibrium constant for an exothermic reaction will decrease as temperature increases. When temperature of this equilibrium reaction increases, equilibrium shifts to endothermic side. Therefore, concentration of ammonia decreases. Kc and concentration of ammonia are directly proportional. So, Kc also decreases. You see? Equilibrium position will shift to the left as temperature increases. B, the equilibrium constant for an endothermic reaction. Take one of the endothermic reaction. N2, O4, is a gas in equilibrium with 2NO2 gas. 2NO2 gas. Delta H for this reaction. Delta H of the reaction is plus 57.2 kilojoule. Now, the forward reaction is endothermic. The reverse reaction is exothermic. Here it says, the equilibrium constant for an endothermic reaction for an endothermic reaction will increase as the temperature increase. When temperature of this system increase, equilibrium shift to the product side, formation of nitrogen dioxide favored. Therefore, the value of Kc increase because Kc and concentration of NO2 are directly proportional. Equilibrium position will shift to the right as temperature increases. You can take this as an example. A plus 2B in equilibrium with C plus D. Delta H for this reaction is minus 215 kilojoule per mole. The forward reaction is exothermic. When temperature of this reaction increase, equilibrium shift to endothermic side. Formation of reactants are favored. You see? The position of equilibrium moves to the left if you increase the temperature. Decreasing the temperature favors the exothermic reaction. For exothermic reaction, when temperature decreases, equilibrium shift to exothermic direction, to the product direction. Therefore, formation of products are favored. The main effects of temperature on equilibrium is, however, in changing the value of the equilibrium constant. As we said, the value of equilibrium constant scarcely depends on temperature. You see, if the forward reaction is favored, more products are produced and fewer reactants, K equilibrium will increase. If the reverse reaction is favored, fewer products and more reactants, K equilibrium will decrease. Effects of a catalyst on equilibrium position. What is the effect of adding a catalyst into equilibrium reaction? Note that catalysts are substances that increase rate of the reaction by lowering the activation energy. Catalysts have no effect on equilibrium position. They only speed up the rate of the reaction. Hence, adding a catalyst will not affect the position of an equilibrium. A catalyst speeds up both the forward and reverse reactions, so there is no uneven change in reaction rates. Generally, a catalyst will help a reaction to reach the point of equilibrium sooner, 
but it will not affect the equilibrium otherwise optimum conditions optimum condition the condition that gives maximum yield of the products are known as optimum conditions these conditions are decided by the enthalpy of direction enthalpy of direction or heat of direction and stoichiometry of the reaction now for exothermic reaction take one of the exothermic reaction formation of ammonia from its element by the haber process nitrogen gas n2 gas plus 3h2 gas h2 gas to form ammonia 2nh3 2nh3 gas delta h for this reaction is minus 92.2 kilojoules the forward reaction is exothermic for exothermic reactions for exothermic reactions the yield of products is increased the yield of product is increased by performing direction at lower temperature when temperature is lowered when temperature is decreased equilibrium shift to the product side formation of ammonia formation of the product is favored two for endothermic reaction again take one of an endothermic reaction endothermic reaction n2 o4 gas in equilibrium is 2no2 gas 2no2 gas delta h for this reaction delta h of the reaction equal plus 57.2 kilojoule here it says for endothermic reaction the yield of product the yield of product is increased by performing the reaction at higher temperature when temperature of this system increase equilibrium shift to endothermic side more products are formed therefore formation of product is favored when temperature increase for endothermic reaction number 3 when delta n is greater than 0 when delta n is greater than 0 the decrease in pressure favors the formation of product again you can take this as an example you see delta n delta n change in number of mole equal the summation of number of mole of product minus the summation of number of mole of reactants you see the summation of number of mole of products for this is 2 minus 1 is 1 which is greater than 0 therefore when delta n is greater than 0 the decrease in pressure if you decrease pressure for this reaction at equilibrium then equilibrium shift to the side with more number of moles formation of product is favored for when delta n is less than 0 take this as an example you see delta n less than 0 2 minus 4 is minus 2 which is less than 0 the increase in pressure if you increase pressure of this equilibrium reaction equilibrium shift to the side with less number of moles to the product side formation of ammonia is favored five removing the product from the reaction vehicle if you remove ammonia then equilibrium shift to the product side to replenish the removed product hence removing the products from the reaction vessel shifts the equilibrium reaction in the forward reaction students in our today's lesson we discussed factors affecting the equilibrium position these are concentration temperature pressure and volume again we discussed factors that affect the equilibrium constant the equilibrium constant kc depends on temperature at which the experiment is performed 
the equilibrium constant casein is also affected by the form of equation that describe the equilibrium. We learned Lee Chatrier's principle. Lee Chatrier's principle said that when a system at equilibrium is disturbed, then the system will shift its equilibrium position so as to counteract the effect of the disturbance. According to Lee Chatrier principle, the disturbances are increasing or decreasing concentration of reactants or products, heating or cooling reaction mixtures, increasing or decreasing pressure of the system. These are the stresses, the disturbances. We learned optimum conditions. Optimum conditions are conditions that determine amount of the product. This brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.